Family and friends, welcome to the Woke Nation, our nation of factual truth, where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factual truth without fear, without favor, and without faint. We are we also encourage you to live your life and enjoy your life because it's your life. So welcome, wherever you are. I want to share with us what I titled Take Them Back. Take them back is very important. Because valuable things have been stolen from you without knowing it. And many of you are happily living so because you are ignorant of what has happened to you. You are ignorant of who you are. You are ignorant of your nature. And you go about looking for what is God's purpose for your life. Going to visit different people you believe they have special gifts from some God they have not seen and you have been living a confused life you keep going from one prayer to the other one deliverance to the other 
because you are looking for what is God's purpose for your life. There is no such thing as God's purpose for your life because there is no God. All the purpose of your life is to live humanly. That is the purpose for your living. So whatever your hand finds to do, if you know how to make a bottle, go ahead and make it. Whatever you can learn how to make anything, multiple things. Your purpose for living is to live humanly, period. If you want to listen to what people will be saying, you'll be confused. Live your life. Where are you now? Is it conducive for you? If, you? if you're not feeling good there, move. That's why you have your two legs to walk. You are not a tree planted somewhere or one place. No, you have your leg to walk. But religion wants you to be like men walking like a tree. They think they are walking, but they are not going anywhere. And when they are supposed to go, they stay there. They say, no, I'm staying here. I'm remaining there. And that's part of what I want to share with us. Let me ask you, if you find out you are ignorant parent, or your parents ignorantly taught you a lie, you find that you are ignorant people, or your people ignorantly taught you a lie, I want to ask you, will you continue in that lie because your parents say so, after you have found out it's a lie? Will you continue in that lie because your people are into it? Will you? That's exactly what is happening to us, or the challenges we are facing as the woke nation, especially in Africa. Your family is a Christian family. Your family is a Muslim family. Your family is a Jewish family. Your family is a very religious family. And now you are knowing the truth. Especially those of you that are living in abroad. You say you don't believe in this church any, any, anymore, mosque anymore. You don't believe in all this prayer anymore. But you still supporting your family in that religious thing. Because they're still saying that it is God or their God who is making it possible for you to make money in abroad to send to them. That it is God who is providing the money for them through you. When will you stand up? When will you grow up and tell them enough? What I'm telling you is what I have done and I will keep doing it to make our people think. Why are we supporting lies and saying that we are against lies? It, it doesn't make sense. It's like saying you hate lies and you are going to hear about Jesus, about God, you are going to church, you are going to mosque, you are going to worship. No, you are worshipping lie. You are living in a lie. Yet you say you hate lie. You are in the middle of ocean denying water. It's impossible. You are living in a lie and saying you hate lie. No, you are only ignorant. And some of you are no longer ignorant. Now you are no longer ignorant. Why are you sup still supporting the ignorant people? You say, no, there's this. Oh man, no, there's no excuse. We are the ones that, that will solve our problems. And many of you who are living abroad are supporting our problem. That's why we cannot fix it. Because even those living in, the, in, in, in your villages who are looking up to you as somebody at least that have traveled, okay, you know better now, they still see you are supporting them. They are doing some bullshit, you are supporting them. Last time I went to Nigeria, the only people I gave money, like a group of people to support them, were the security men that the vigilante. That I, I, don't, I only know one of them. He came to my house. I said, okay, I give him money. Say, give it to them. I did not announce it to anyone. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. But you see, you made money in abroad and you know what is going on. They are lying to your people. Instead of you to tell them, no, this is what, how it is. They say, okay, it is God, it is God. And you just sit there smiling. <laughs> because you are the one that prison. I want you to know that the missionaries, the ministers of God, the prophets, the apostles, the, 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 the pastors, the priests, the popes, whatever title you call those people who are representing God, who you think that you know, God speaks through them, they are crafty men. These people are tricksters. These people are slick. 
These people are cunning. These people are deceitful. They are not telling you the truth. Because if they say the truth, you will not go to them in the first place. You are going to them because you don't know the truth. Just as you worship God because you don't know the truth. I don't worship God anymore because I know the truth. I don't worship Jesus anymore because I know the truth. I don't work on Holy Spirit anymore because I know the truth. I don't pray anymore because I know the truth. So why now I know the truth? Why should I support lie? Directly or indirectly? No. I may do it today, but you will not see me repeat it tomorrow. Because in knowledge, I am growing in it. So for some of you that say you talk like you know all things, okay, uh, to satisfy you, yeah, I know all things. But in reality, I don't know all things yet. I'm still learning. So understand that those religious leaders, all of them, they are deceitful. They are not telling you the truth. They are trained to lie. They copy from other, other their, their colleague lies. And that's how they sell them to you. Claiming to be representatives of God that no one has seen at any time. No one, their book even says, no one has seen God at any time. Yes, somebody tell you he's representing that God that no one has seen at any time. If God has not been seen at any time, then who made God a him? Who made God him? Who made God his? Who made God male? Who? If God has no form, according to their book, if no one has seen God at any time, at what time did they begin to put ears, nose, eyes, mouth, head, hand, leg, body on that God and dress him with robe? They tell you his robe filled the temple. <laughs> and surround him with uh, servants. They call angels. Put him on the throne. Just look at the description of God. You will know his man-made. A God they have not seen. They trick people. They deceive people. They lie to people into giving their, 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 their valuable assets. And I want to mention three of them today. And this clip, I want to mention three of them. So these people trick people to give their life. The eternal life they already have. Their natural life that is eternal. They trick people to give it to them. They keep going to them. When you, are, when you dress up going to church, you have given your life. When you need them praying to God, you have given your life. Praying to Jesus, you have given your life. Because they trick you to do that. Then you give them your time. The time you're supposed to use to relax, regain your strength, and plan for, for future. Plan for tomorrow. Use it. Shout it. Praise Allah. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, come and help me. Lord, show me mercy. Imagine. The Lord you believe is his God you believe that loves you. He cares about you. He knows you are tomorrow today. And you are, you are begging him to show you mercy. And he says he's your father. How many times have you asked your, your father, your biological father to show you mercy like that? You have not done anything. But they say you have done it. It's okay. You're okay, so if I confess now, all will be well with me. Okay, yeah, I confess. Lord, forgive me. Show me mercy. Forgive me even the sins of my ancestors. Forgive me. Show me mercy. They trick you. You also give them your resources. And you know what represent all your resources today? Your money. Although their book showed us Titan is agricultural, but they turn it into money now. Bring your tithe. Bring your offering. Bring it. God needs your money. But God can provide for all things we need. But he needs your money. <laughs> God will supply all your needs according to his, his riches and glory. But he needs your money. We want to build the house of God. We want to go for missionary work. We want to go and do the work of God. And the God that can provide all things, he needs your money. Come on, wake up. They are impostors and they are thieves and robbers. They are impostors. They are thieves and robbers. I mean your pastor. Yeah, I mean that your priest. Yeah, that your reverend father. He's an impostor. He's a thief. Yeah, that your pope. 
whatever title that you are religious leader or spiritual leader is bearing, tell, that, tell them, I say, he or she is a, an imposter, is a thief, is a robber. You need to be locked up. But it's your ignorance, your support, that's why they are thriving. What is different between your pastors and the kidnappers? Nothing. The, I mean, nothing in um, like in their evil war. But the reason why your pastors are walking free and the kidnappers have been arrested and locked up or killed is because the government authority is behind the pastors, is supporting the evil of the pastors. Because without the pastors, the government will not thrive. People will vote against the evils of government. But they use the church, they use the religion, they use the religious leaders, they use the missionaries, they use all these ministers of God to cool people down, saying, no, don't worry, leave vengeance for God. God will fight for you. No, no, they, they, those in power, they are ministers of God. <laughs> but I'm here today calling on you to take your life back. That's the first thing you must do. The only way you can take your life back is first knowing yourself. Knowing that your life we're talking about. Know that you don't need eternal life as, the, as a gift. It's your natural being. You are eternal being. You cannot die. Fire cannot burn you. You don't understand that. No acid can consume you. You cannot be annihilated. No way. You are eternal being. So you have to take your life back. Stop going to them. For those of you that still may be standing or sitting on the, in, uh, on, uh, on the fence, if you can follow the word of Jesus in your book, you will no longer be believing going to church or believing anyone that tell you God is there or Jesus is there. Read it. In Matthew chapter 24, Jesus said, Many shall come in my name, saying that I, Jesus, is the Christ, and they will deceive many. Then he said that many false prophecies, many false prophets will rise and deceive many. Then he go on to say, say that many false Christs and false prophets will arise and deceive many with great signs and wonders. He said, then when they tell you there is Christ, he said, do not go out. He said, he said, he said, do not believe them. I'm not the one saying that you can read it in your book. That of believing, believing, believing the not Matthew chapter 24, 26, I mean 20, 20, 20, 23 to 26. You can read it yourself. He said, give it to them as beforehand. That's why I can tell you that Christians are antichrist. Christians are not living like the Christ of the Bible. You can see that for the fact they have church, they have place of worship. Jesus never asked anyone to worship him. Jesus never asked anyone to build a place of worship in his name, as Christians are doing. Because Christianity is antichrist. In fact, Christianity is the false Christ that Jesus himself said that many false Christ. That's why they have many denominations. They are false Christ. Take back your life. Your life does not belong to God. Your life does not belong to Jesus. It's a shameful thing that at your age, you are saying, I give my life to Jesus. I give my life to God. Which God are you talking about? Which Jesus are you talking about? You are giving your life to whom you have not seen? No wonder you are stupid. And then when somebody you can see come to, to, to touch you, you say no. But you have given your life to someone you have not seen or can see. Take back your life. They tricked you to give your life, to give your more time, and to give your resources. Then I will read it. I post it. Let me read it from the post I made. If you check my wall, you will see that I made that post about the you know where the cross. They put the statue of of Jesus. Little girl went there to help Jesus out. You know, she, she doesn't know it was a statue. Just as our people believe Jesus existed, they don't know that Jesus was just a fictional character. They believe that God exists. They don't know that 
God is just a made up nonsense. It does not exist. But they see them laboring, see them doing everything. I'm doing the work of God. I am I am worshiping them, I'm serving the Lord. It does not exist. So I, I totally the how Africans became slaves of God and slaves of Jesus Christ. If you can read Matthew 23, verse 15, it said that the white people they cross land and sea to convert Africans, and when they uh, they uh, succeeded in converting them, they make them the children, children or yeah, children of hell to wise than them. Children of hell are the ones that go cross land and sea to go convert other people, thinking they are better than other people, or God chose them among other people. Now, if you read Second Corinthians chapter twelve, verse sixteen, I I, I listed about three three translation here. To help you read, because some of them will say, "No, you take it out of context." Then when you read it with, I think, new trans, new English transla translation, you see how they try to cover it. He say, "No, it's other people that say Paul was a trickster, or Paul was a crab, but Paul was crafty." No, that's not what Paul said. King James version is the original one, at least the original version. Before they begin to make other ones, but I I, I, I choose three of them. First being King James Version. He said, I, Paul, being crafty, being trickish, I, Paul, being a deceiver, I, Paul, being crafty, I caught you with guy. I caught you with trick. That's what they call so winning. Tricking people. Making people to believe lie. They say it's so winning. Although you have no soul, you are the living soul. They cannot win you. They can only trick you. Do you hear what I'm saying? No one can win you. They can only trick you. Just like no one can kill you, they can only help you to transform. They say you ended. No way, you are not ended. There's no beginning. There's no ending of you. Now, hear how New International Version puts it. I say, okay, no wonder many Christians are against New International Version. <laughs> here what he say. He said, be, uh, be crafty, be, uh, that's Paul speaking about himself, crafty fellow that I am. Not other people saying that I am crafty fellow. Paul said, crafty fellow that I am. I caught you by trickery. I caught you by trickery. I want you to know right now as I'm speaking, your pastor is somewhere planning how to trick you. Forging some word he will come up with. When you hear it, you will give up your, your money. You will give up your wallet. You will give up your bank account. This is how they caught you. By trickery, not by truth. No. If they said the truth, their building will be emptied. The reason why you see it jump out, you see people going there every time. They keep forging wars, tricking people into believing. I haven't you sometimes you said, why these people, even when they caught they caught them red-handed, yet many people still following them. This is the secret. Being crafty or crafty fellow that they are crafty fellows they are they caught people by trickery now see how contemporary english version put it he said you agree that i wasn't a a burden to you because i was trying to catch you off guard and trick you you see them oh no you know we meant well we bring good, good news to you gospel of god no we don't demand the cow and the goat like all these native doctors you know if when you come to christ you know your you, salvation is free but okay after service i mean after after praise and worship and the ministration okay time offering time blessing time <laughs> blessing time you have to pay for you to receive blessing the people that tell you no, it's free. Jesus has paid it all. They're still making you to pay. They caught you by trickery. They did not put in you in the beginning. Oh, you say, okay, this thing is easier. It is easier than going to native daughter. It's easier than even going to hospital. Let me follow this, this God I'm talking about. Let me follow this Jesus. They got you. 
You are like the fish. They throw the bait. Ah, you think you are swallowing meat. Now you are hooked. That's how they trick you. And I put other 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 scriptures there to show you. Like uh, First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2, to show you what they really care about. They don't care about you. Although Jesus does not exist, but that's what they're selling to you. Jesus is a fictional character, like the Spider-Man. That but that's what they're selling to people. God is non-existent and useless in reality, yet that's what they're selling to people. He said, what? He said for I, re I resolved to know nothing why I was with you. Except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. They don't care about you. The men of God, they don't care about you. The women of God, they don't care about you. It is that thing that's selling. Because that is the trick that got you. Somebody died for your sin. He's coming to save you. He has all the power. He walk on the water. Okay, let him come and walk now. Let me see. They tell you, no, it's over your dead body. That's why First Peter said, Jesus Christ, whom you have not seen, you love. Although you, you do not see Jesus, you believe in him. Then you are rejoicing and having joy, unspeakable, full of glory. You are stupid. Rejoicing in your stupidity. Rejoicing in your gullibility. Rejoicing in your slavery. Rejoicing in your suffering. Suffering and smiling. Except Christ, Jesus, and he crucified, not you. That's why although it is written in their book that when they get it, people that have things sold them and bring the money to help the poor. But today, they are telling the poor to bring all they have. Bring your widow's might. God need it. They trick you and take your life. You must take your life back. Here another thing they care about. He said, what then? That's Philippians chapter 1 verse 18. He said, what then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth. So whether you call it pretense or whether you call it truth, they are tricking you. He said what? He said that. He said that Christ is preached and in this I rejoice and yes, and we rejoice. They are not rejoicing that your life is getting better or you're getting any help because you're not getting any help. You have to walk to get that help. All they are rejoicing is that Christ is preached. It's the fable that does the bait that catches the fish. They are fishermen. Jesus is the bait. They throw it. And you fish, you come. <laughs> it's not good enough. And you, you, you make your family, all of them must bow. Because they tell you at the mention of the name of Jesus, everything shall bow. Ah, once you eat Jesus, you begin to make your family to bow also. My family did the same thing, but see, I am free. I delivered myself. My parents, my siblings, they are still into it. No, I say no way. I am different. I am a Kebulan. I existed before them. You may not understand. My, my brother say, oh, my parents brought me into this world. I say, mm -mm. <laughs> not with the knowledge I have now. No, they did not bring me into this world. I was once the father to my father. Yes. According to reincarnation. You say, don't believe in reincarnation. Are you worshiping Jesus? And you say, Jesus is God in the flesh. As, all right? <laughs> Although you have not seen God, you have not seen Jesus. That is how they caught you. They don't care about you. They care about that lie they are selling. And that's why they tell you, if anyone don't believe in Jesus Christ, it's an anathema. Let that person be a cause. If they preach another Christ, is this one we are preaching. This one we are telling you is the Son of God. This one we are telling you is the Son of Mary. That is the one. If they preach another Christ, let them be a cause. Wow. If Jesus is true, Jesus is real, nobody, nobody will preach in another Jesus. It's like saying that somebody is preaching about me, another me. It's me. I'm alive. I will show up. If Jesus is real, nobody will be preaching another Jesus because Jesus will show up. If God is real, nobody will be making another God because God will show up. Come on. It's important if you can think. But they deceive you, telling you it's a spiritual thing. You, know, you won't understand it. You're taking it out of context. No, you don't understand the word of God. No, you need spiritual eyes to understand it. Why are you using natural mouth to speak it? 
<laughs> He's telling me I need spiritual eyes to understand it. Somebody say one day you will preach, you will preach Jesus like Paul did. I said that was yesterday. Many of them they they come like their, their deaf ears to what happened. I was a Christian, not only just a Christian. I was a minister, ordained reverend, ordained. I was ordained reverend. <laughs> and you said what? I said ah, what happened yesterday? And I'm still preaching God and Jesus. But I'm preaching the man in truth. No longer in pretense. <laughs> you say whether in pretense or in truth. The man in Jesus is preached. So I'm preaching Jesus. According to your Bible. Philippians chapter 1 verse 18. That's what I'm doing. I'm preaching Jesus. I'm preaching God. In truth. Because Jesus never existed. But those who are preaching Jesus and lie are telling you that Jesus existed. Jesus is alive. Jesus is coming again. They are liars. Tricksters. Take your life back. Take your time back. Stop wasting your time in any church, in any mosque, in any building. They say they are doing this for God or for prayer. Even in your own house. Why are you spending that minute in prayer? Use it to watch movies. That you can learn from. Begin to Google, to use YouTube to watch about African history. There are those who have gone ahead of us. Who have went to Egypt. Dug it. Bring out the fact that white people shut up. White people could not resist them. It's there. It's no longer hidden. It's, you don't want to know. Use Google. You want to know when the name of Jesus started. It's there in your Google. You can never find it in the Bible. You can never find it in your church, your, your religious books. You can never because they are liars. Those that wrote the Bible and those that are writing the religious materials now, all of them are liars. They are not telling you the truth. Take your life back. Take your, your time back and take your money back. For years now, I have not given tithe. I have not given offering. You know what I have said? You don't know what you are saving when you say you don't pray anymore, you don't go to church, you don't give anymore to all that nonsense, you'll be saving a lot of money for yourself. You begin to know, learn how to take care of yourself. Give you money for what? You say, give me money, God will bless me. No, let, let, let God bless you. Last year I was in Nigeria, I was buying uh, fuel in the filling station. America call it gas. So one guy, they push him in the wheelchair, he came. In the wheelbarrow, not wheelbarrow, the which wheelchair. He came, he said, he said, give to me, God will bless you. Right there, in the public. But the guy, the guy selling the guy, I said, if that, let that God give to you. Why are you telling me, give you, God will give, bless me. No, let God bless you. At least let God bless you by taking you out of that condition and taking good care of you. Before you call any human being stingy for not giving, and you believe in God, why you are stupid, why are you not calling God stingy too? The God that owns everything, but you say, no, God has given us all things. It's our fault that we don't, you are stupid. If God has given you all things, why can't you make sure you have your portion and not let another take it? You have little children in your house. When you buy things for them, you give to them. And another one go to take another person. You, do, you don't say, you don't turn blind eyes. You say it's your fault if that one take it or if you don't have what I give to you. No, you make sure they have it. But when it comes to God, your brain died because faith rot the brain. You cannot have brain and you, I mean, you cannot have faith and use your brain. You cannot. Faith blindfold you. Faith is ignorance. I want to ask you, how long, how long will you remain simple? How long will you remain ignorant? How long will you remain slave? How long will you remain idiot? It is time you begin to take your life back. Your life is yours. Take your time back. Your time is yours. Take your money back. Your money is yours. Enjoy your life. Spend your time for you. And spend your money on yourself. Do that. It is yours. They say you must give to the poor. Who made them poor? Are you the one that made them poor? And you say God is the one that created the poor. So let, tell God, God give to the poor. If God don't give to the poor, get up and okay that God. Let thunder kill that God. If he refused to, to feed the poor, he created 
So you know, God, it's not God that made them poor. Where was God when somebody made them poor? In America, if you are living with a little baby and something happened to that little baby, maybe that little baby fall out of window. Guess what? You are the one that will go to jail. You, the adult in the house. Where were you when that thing happened? Or the, 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 the little child went and hurt themselves. You are responsible because you are a grown adult. But God is watching people suffering. And you telling me, no, you are the one. I, I hear people still making that stupid pose. You know, you have to do this. You have to help people. For what? That, what that's why we, we never solve our problem. We have to rise up as a people to solve our problem. Stop telling people to go and work and bring to help the needy and the poor in the land. Who are making them the needy and the poor? You're supposed to tell me first. Oh, you don't give people, you are this. I don't give, and so what? All the one I've been giving, did I ask you to pay me back? Stupid. Take them back now to avoid longer years in slavery. Take your life, your time, and your money back now to avoid longer years in bondage. Deliver yourself. Enough of this bondage of religion, bondage of spirituality, bondage of faith and beliefs it is time you free yourself take your life back take your time back and take your money back live your life humanly enjoy your life free yourself you have that power no god can hold you down if you free yourself no no demon no satan can hold you down if you free yourself no human being can hold you down if you free yourself anyone that i rather die than live in bondage because that is good for me. That is the door that opens me up to the next level in life. And the life is good. I gonna me enjoy. God.